It's your boy Chips Hoy and welcome back everybody to a Nothing to Hyperion series on a brand new mega co op profile only using mining. That is right, we have quite the journey ahead of us and we have quite the team on our side to complete it. I used Code Suite to buy gems on the Hypixel store and make this mega call, which includes some of the best miners on Skyblock. Our Vial has tons of insane stats and is the number two miner in all of Skyblock. Dragoon has wild gemstone collection too and everyone else in the co-op is crazy high ranked in mining XP and other mining collections. The group is overpowered, for real. Before we start, let's go over the rules. This mega co-op will be mining from absolutely nothing, straight zero to a billion coin Hyperion. All the money will have to be made from mining and from the mining islands. The AH and the Bazaar are going to be allowed, but minions are not allowed. So who's ready to get started? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sick. I was born ready. Let's go. Okay, okay. So we'll have a couple of us go to unlock the Bazaar. Others can get work on a cobble generator on our island. Here we go. Visit K-Cub. Straight to the cakes. Slurp, slurp. Coins from villages. No coins from villagers. Get the coins from port. mining. Yeah. Sand counts. Smart. Make sure you toss out hey, wheat. Help. While talking through some rules and strategy with the co-op, I went ahead and mined some logs for a starter wooden pickaxe. Let's go coal mine discovered. Our first blocks of the series. Cobblestone is unlocked. First pickaxe upgrade of the series. Let's see, we can unlock some coal as well. Yes, sir. Mining level one. Let's go. Dude. Travel to the gold mine. We have to talk to the lazy miner. And then I think we can just head all the way down to the bottom here. And we can grab this pickaxe. Smelting touch iron. It's going to be very helpful. Look at the speed as everybody's going crazy in the co-op. Mining level three, mining four, mining five. That's access to the deep caverns. Let's go. Speed run to the bottom. Go co-op, go. Emeralds, diamond reserve. All right. Mining level six. At this point, I've done a decent bit of mining and we've unlocked everything in the deep caverns. So I'm going to craft a gold shovel. I'm going to hop over here and enchant it with efficiency. Then after a second of farming wheat and tossing all of it out of my inventory, of course, we can run through the barn into the desert settlement and insta mine sand. Now we're doing this for mining. It gives mining XP. So therefore we can also sell this sand. Let's go ahead and grind it a little bit for quick progress. Mining level 10 unlocked and we unlocked telekinesis. Let's keep it going. And then there's mining level 12. Now I took a break to hit some carrots and I'm actually going to use some of these to craft a carrot minion. Now I know minions are not allowed and farming is not allowed for money, but this is actually really good to get everybody a little bit of skyblock XP. Let's go skyblock level seven access nice. to the bazaar. So with this guy unlocked, I'm going to sell everything I mined. We also have a ridiculous amount of sand in our e chest, 25 K in inventory. Yes, please. Then we're up to 143K already. Oh my gosh. So the first thing yeah. I need to buy, enchanted redstone, 210. Everybody take 30. Here we go. We are HOTM tier one. That's a huge step complete. I'm gonna grab this fractured mithril pickaxe. First mithril is now mined. Let's go. Raffle, raffle, raffle. I'm gonna win. Pain, but oh my gosh. Crazy mining XP. Some great HTM XP to start us off and initial mithril powder. There's a few more things I need to do now that we've unlocked these dwarven mines. We have to talk to Bednam a few times. And after you talk to him three times, we'll be able to grab a treasure. There we go. Then we can talk to the king and claim our first commission. After that, I say we jump down here and start smacking at some glacites. Easily getting combat levels and Ice Walker Bestiary out of this. I got a jewel and these things are a whole 185, 195k. That's crazy for money. Honestly, I think it might be best just to come to the bazaar, go ahead and sell this jewel, then use the money for our first auction house purchases of some Glacite gear. Here's a helmet, some pants, a chest plate, and some boots. Look at that, baby, let's go. I'm still grinding these Ice Walkers, but we do have two times powder starting in this lobby which could be really useful, especially for powder things like Fetcher and the Puzzler. Nice quick 2k powder. We're up to combat 10. Oh my gosh. And we just got another Glacite Jewel. That is honestly huge. I have two now, which is almost 400k. So let's head to the hub, sell them off, and use that money to make a ton of purchases. Maybe we can start with a Silverfish pet. We're going to need an epic 100k. This will give us 
some good bonus mining wisdom and mining XP. Then I'm gonna go for mobility. I want a grappling hook. After submitting a bid there, let's go ahead and see if we can grab a Pico Nimbus. 200K, let's go for it. Yes, sir. That's gonna give us so much speed when mining. It's gonna be amazing. Now in the hub, I still have 100K left. I'm gonna wanna go ahead and enchant this Glacite gear. I'll give it prot five to every piece. We'll also grab efficiency five for our Pico Nimbus. Next up, I say we hop over here to the Weaponsmith. From him, I want to buy this artisanal short bow, as well as a good amount of flint arrows, in case there's a powder ghast that spawns. With this setup, we can hop back into the Dwarven Mines and really power through tons of commissions. Look at this early game mining speed. Level 14 progress real quick to claimed commissions and HNTM tier two let's go ahead and hit the tree we can claim our first mining speed and maybe even upgrade it a little bit to level nine then we'll move on forward with the mining fortune can we grab titanium and sanium too let's go i'm really fine with this thing there's mining 15 already and there's another commission complete oh my gosh another commission complete and that's milestone one we can come back go ahead and claim that with our pet equipped for tons of mining XP. Already to Skyblock level 10, to mining level 17, and our Silverfish is almost at level 40. At this point, I'm gonna sell all my Mithril. I'm gonna sell the gifts from Bednam, especially this Enchanted Titanium for 100K. And then I'm gonna use that money to make another big purchase. We're gonna buy an Aspect of the End. 280K, bang. Now the last thing I wanna buy from the Bazaar is gonna be some Mushroom Soup for flying on the island. I don't know if you remember from the beginning, but we set up a couple cobble generators on our island so a few folks will continue to grind on this but i am gonna head back to the dwarven mines and continue the commission grind a uh, yet another mining level where is don espresso we need to trade you our mithril mithril g's there are the spoils from that and here we go that right there is another commission complete bang 15 titanium ore there's a bunch right here yes sir powering through these commissions right now and we've gotten our very first rock pet as we're about 50% of the way to HOTM tier 3, but still on the grind and there's mining level 20. Then we can jump back to the upper mines, mine 10 quick titanium, hit another commission milestone, claim all that goodness up. Let's hit the hub. We got some good selling to do. There's a lot we can send to the NPC and a lot we can send to the bazaar as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and use that money along with the money in the co-op bank to hopefully purchase a personal compactor. 900K spent, our biggest purchase yet. After grabbing a golden pick with efficiency five, we can dump the rest of our money back into the bank and head to our island. Now, this was a big 900K purchase, but we actually already have two of them. RVVAL has one and Moltres has one, as I'm gonna switch from HOTM grinding to grinding for that rock pet. We're all gonna pop some haste on the main island and then jump into the grind. Now we think it should take about three hours for each person to get the 250,000 blocks broken for 10 mil. So it's definitely worth the time and I'm just gonna hope that it flies by. Just got my uncommon rock. 20k ores in the rock. RVVAL's already at 100,000, GG. Oh my gosh, we're at a full inventory of cobble at 70k a stack. That is some good, good money. Skybuck level up and I got the epic rock. 100k ores, 150k to go. First legendary rock complete. Nice. Yep. Guys, I'm getting so antsy as I get so close to this final milestone. 241 out of 250k. 1,000 ores remaining. Any second now? And let's go. Legendary rock. Nice. George, my friend, take my legendary rock and give me 10 million coins. I can also give all of my other rocks as well. I'll take 500k and I'll take two and a half mil. The purse is up to 13.2 mil, but then we also have all of this enchanted cobblestone. So let's throw that in the bazaar, 1.3 mil per inventory, and we'll have just over two of them. As that sells in the bazaar, we do have a lot of money to start making purchases with. And so we're gonna head to the auction house. And as you saw, RVVL got his rock first and he ended up purchasing, I think a ruby drill. I'm gonna go a different direction we'll start it off with a weapon i'll get this aurora staff for 1.5 mil i'll grab this sorrow helmet for 8.5 then for my last purchase we will get some sorrow boots 
Bang. We're only about 10 hours in from literally having nothing and I'm already at half sorrow. On top of that, I made some purchase orders in here for some gemstones and some XP bottles because we need to add some quick enchants to these new items and some quick gemstones. Let's go. With the remaining money from our cobblestone, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase some talisman, both from the adventurer and from the auction house. As the mineral talisman is only 140K, so we'll throw those guys into the accessory bag. Then we can dump the rest in the bank and head back to the mine. Take this, you goblins. 50 XP right there and a commission complete. Oh, star sentry damage. They just spawned. Smack and claim. Oh, silverfish up to level 69. So much mining XP was gotten from the cobble and rock as well that we're we're already up to mining 22. Now mining's going well, but let's quickly grab a warrior from Maxwell. I don't think it really makes a difference what you get there, but we're also gonna go ahead and reforge a lot of our items, especially our gear, which we'll get to wise. Back on the commission grind, and there was one. Go ahead and claim it. Gets us to taming 20. And another one done. 15 titanium complete so quick, all the way to 93% of the way to this tier three HOTM. And guys, oh my God, after mining this, we complete another commission, which we can claim and unlock Heart of the Mountain Tier 3. Why is this so crazy? Because it gives us access to the Crystal Hollows, the next mining island, and really where the rest of this series is going to take place. So let's run on over here, chat up Gwendolyn, buy the pass, and hop in the minecart. Guys, we are heading all the way to the Crystal Hollows less than 11 hours into this profile. Plus, we're already at Half Sorrow. We're absolutely flying. Moltres also got his rock pet and spent it on this beautiful ruby drill so i'm gonna borrow it temporarily and i'll use that and this 830k armadillo with a mining xp boost to go absolutely crazy in here actually my first one is ruby gemstones so let's hop on our armadillo and jump into this vein right here progress 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 and we can kill any mob in here with our weapon. Forgot I also have to go to slash HOTM. Let's go ahead and get mining speed boost and I'll get daily powder to the crystal nucleus. And now the emissary, boom, thousand amethyst. Second commission complete. Yes, I have to slay with this. Easy money. Finally was able to unlock some mining sack and gemstone sack crafts. So we made those guys. Another commission done, and that's mining level 23. Boss Corleone down. Hello, mining 24. Oh my god, let's go. Daily bonus. Second daily. Now I just kill some goblins. And bang, dude. HOTM tier 4, we're crazy. Armadillo's level 69, Skyblock level 19. Ballin, for real. I'll go ahead and grab a fish and miner. Then I suppose season mine man. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, so let's go. I'm actually claiming everything right now. I just got commission milestone three. Wildin. Oh, this is hype though. Let's go ahead and claim the commission. Let's go ahead and claim the commission milestone. 400,000 mining XP we just got. But more importantly, the extra commission slot. We now have three of these guys to power through. I think this is a probably a pretty good spot to about call it though for my first day. We got to combat level 14 and we've been seriously flying through Piconimbuses as this one just broke. So let's claim one last commission for another Skyblock level, level 20. And I guess we'll tackle tier five HOTM when we wake up. Of course, we can make a few quick sales. We've got Robotron reflectors and some other robot parts. Claim up that goodness. And then on our island, we'll toss our gear in a chest so others can continue to grind. I mean, we got two or three really good setups plus, you know, an extra three mil in the bank. Let's see how the rest of the co-op does overnight. Ah. And here we are, all refreshed, ready to get going. Almost everybody else in the co-op has finished getting their legendary rock pet, has gotten into the Crystal Halls, and has gotten Heart of the Mountain Tier 4. Go ahead and grab this guy, along with the Pico Nimbus, and a few other items. I'm also going to actually claim some money from the bank to buy a jungle pick. This guy right here is good with me. Maybe a couple more Pico Nimbuses as well. Let's talk to Gwendolyn and jump back in. Here we go, commissions, commissions, commissions. Mining 25. Already 36% of the way to tier 5. Let's just keep slaying out. Mining 26. The progress is crazy. Commissions. More commissions. Let's go. Popping off here. 50%. Yeah. A few of us have found a really good lobby with Corleone, with the Key Guardian, everything you could ever want. So hopefully we can power through a ton of commissions real quick and make some decent money from this guy as well. Like, bang. 
you get one or two of them and they go for 80k each mining 27 i feel like these are going so quick maybe we'll do a, a quick nucleus run mid commissions see if we can get some tools real quick then we can go ahead and claim that crystal then we can hand over some robot parts and claim another crystal there's those commissions oh, another one collected that's actually five out of five now we get an alloy place in that guy one more <laughs> Alloy. No, we got Pico Nimbus and a prehistoric egg. Dude, dude. Yes. HOTM5 from the Nucleus run. Let's go. Nice. Beautiful peak. Only on level one though. Great explorer. It's so close. And we'll claim a commission. Anyway, 100,000 XP needed now for tier six, the next tier. It's a lot, but we will be able to power through it. And uh, I think just because the first reset is gonna be free, I'm gonna go ahead and get Mining Madness for 50 extra speed and fortune. Other than that, absolutely nothing changes. We just get back on the grind. So 1,000 Sapphire Gemstones, here I come. And guys, more progress. Let's go. We can claim this commission, and it is our 250th, which means we are at the fourth milestone. We can claim 800,000 mining XP, plus a travel scroll, but really emphasis on that crazy amount of mining XP. Uh, now, we got to keep grinding till the next one, because then we get a royal pigeon. Makes things a little bit easier, so we've got to tackle another 250. Here we go. We're at mining 28, and let's try to open some chests. A couple more commissions complete and another mining level obtained. Next up on the list is some amethyst gemstones. I do love my jungle commissions because I can just run over here and quickly slay out this key guardian. Legitimately easy money. I'm up to already over a stack of jungle keys and that should be about five mil. Plus you can tell the sludge juice is going well. This purchase was definitely worth it. Officially a quarter of the way to tier six. Oh ho ho, mining level 30. That is big progress, big progress. Progress. Finish off this commission, yes sir. Oh, treasureite and this. No. Server reboot in one minute. We made it all the way to day 32 in this lobby. Oh my gosh, less than 10 seconds. I'd like to get one more key guardian. Six seconds, four, three, two, no! <laughs> I was so close. Oh my god, okay, there's a lot to go through though. There's a lot to go through. We've got this spare rare armadillo. We also have a prehistoric egg that's about to be a legendary. That's kind of crazy. Then in my first e-chest, I have so much sludge juice. Let's go ahead and throw up 1.3 million coins worth and then a little bit more will be another 800k. As you saw, I was also grinding tons of jungle keys, a stack and 25, and that's gonna be 9.8, almost 10 million coins. Let's go. I think that's really the big things that I have for money. Otherwise, it's just a little bit of coal we can sell as well as a little bit of hard stone. I guess we can claim what's already sold, but then when we wait for the rest of these jungle keys, we can just throw this money into the co-op bank and get back on the grind. Part of the mountain tier six here i come claim to commission we've got amber and hearthstone but we also get mining 31 out of it 69 percent oh my god we can go ahead and claim another claim 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 and we got mining 32 as well automatons and this up next oh my gosh the daily bonus is back that's huge for progression let's quickly grab some amber and topaz and then with just a couple more commissions we will be able to talk to the emissary and snag heart of the mountain tier six just about 36 hours after creating the profile and here we are with Heart of the Mountain Tier 6. Let's go ahead, hit our tree. We'll be able to get Mole, we'll be able to get Fortunate, we'll be able to get Great Explorer, and you know what? We'll go for Professional as well. Let's just do a bunch of clicking, and off the bat, we can get some great levels across these new items. Obviously, at this stage, now that we are HOTM 6, there are tons of gear upgrades and things that we need to get into as we continue to progress along with the rest of our co-op mates. But for now, guys, that is gonna do it for the first episode. If if you did enjoy, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Be sure to use code SWEET in the Hypixel store. I'll leave it off with a big shout out to everybody who has joined the co-op and is putting in so much of their own time to tackle this Hyperion and this challenge with me. I really do appreciate it, and I really do appreciate all of you. Join my guild, become a member on my channel, and guys, I hope to see you all in part two. Adios and goodbye.